Hi class. Today we will write a program that accepts the number of LED blinks at the serial monitor. The two LEDs connected to the Arduino must blink alternately as per the number of blinks commanded at the input. The red LED is connected to pin 2 and green LED is connected to pin 3. Let's see how it is done. In the previous video, we had built this hardware on the Tinkercad platform. I will be reu reusing the same hardware. I will be reusing the same code as well with a few modifications. So initially we had declared two variables, the red LED and green LED connected to pin 2 and 3. We had declared a variable delay time as 100 milliseconds. Then we had declared the red LED, LED R as an output pin and LED G as an output pin. Next, we had begun serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. Now I would like to print on the serial monitor the line enter number of blinks. After printing this line, I would like to accept the serial input that is given by the user on the serial monitor. So I will use a while loop and in the while loop I will use the function serial dot available equal to equal to zero. Now, this function will ret return a zero value as long as the user does not enter an input. Whenever the user enters an input, this function will return a non-zero value and the program will come out of the while loop. After coming out of the while loop, I would like to store this input i will declare a variable an integer variable called blinks and initialize it to zero here i will use the line blinks equal to serial dot parse int what this line will do is whatever numerical value is given at the input will be stored in blinks now i will print the value of blinks on the serial monitor. Next, in the for loop, I will modify the value of the counter to blinks. Similarly, over here. The rest of the code remains the same. Let's start the simulation and see how it's working.
have forgotten to give a semicolon over here. Again, let's check if it's running. Okay, let's go to the uh, serial monitor and I will give it the number of blinks. Uh, say, I will say five blinks and I'll say send. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Accordingly, the red LED is blinking. So this is how the program works. I'll stop the simulation now. Okay. What we will do now is we will see how the same code runs on hardware. I have pasted the same code in Arduino IDE and uploaded this code onto the hardware. Now I'll go to the serial monitor and uh, check how it works. So at the serial monitor, the controller asks me to enter the number of blinks. I will enter the number five. And when each LED is blinking, it will give me the blink number. So the red LED blinks up to five counts and the green LED blinks up to five counts. Let's see how the hardware looks. So the hardware has a red LED and a green LED. However, I'm using uh, whichever LED that I have. Red LED is connected to pin two and green LED is connected to pin three. Okay, this is the ground wire. And let's see how this hardware works. So here on the serial monitor, I'll be giving the input number five. As soon as I give it the input value of five, it will give me the blink numbers. Okay, so the red LED is blinking and the second LED, that is the green LED that's blinking. Okay, however, I'm using whatever LED is available with me. Thank you. For homework, you can write a program that accepts the number of LED blinks at the serial monitor. Okay, the two LEDs connected to the Arduino must blink alternately as per the number of blinks commanded at the input. Red LED is connected to pin 2, green LED is connected to pin 3. Here the modification will be, you have to connect a blue LED to pin 4. To indicate start and end of the sequence, the blue LED must blink once at the start and once at the end respectively. Try this as an exercise at home. Thank you.